Grade 8 Math number 2.2a using scientific notation. Scientific notation is a way of writing very large or very small numbers as whole numbers or decimals. They're multiplied by a power of 10. Numbers used in science can be extremely large, like the distance from Earth to the Sun, it's 93 million miles, or extremely small, like the wavelength of red light, it's approximately 70 millionths of a meter. Because it's such a pain to work with so many zeros, Scientists write these numbers with positive or negative exponents and powers of 10. Each number is written as the number times 10 to a power. If we were writing 125, we put the decimal in between the first two digits, between the 1 and the 2, and because we moved it from behind the 5, 1, 2 hops, to in between the 1 and the 2, we say it's multiplied by 10 to the second power. That's 2 hops, it's 2 for an exponent. That's 10 times 10, that's 100. That moves the decimal point to behind the 5. See? That makes it 125. And we use this big X, that's not a variable. That's the time symbol that we used in second or third grade. Yes, we use this big X in scientific notation to say times 10 to that power. Okay? So here we've got this number times 10 to a power, and that power can be a positive or negative integer. And that number, it's an absolute value, and it's greater than or equal to 1, or it's less than 10. And it's being expanded or condensed into scientific notation. It's greater than 1 because it has to have one digit in front of the decimal point, and it's less than 10 because we're multiplying it by powers of 10. If it were more than 10, that would add another digit to the exponent. Instead of 7, it would be 8. So it has to be less than 10. And there should always be one non-zero digit in front of the decimal point. So writing it like this would be wrong. It wouldn't be 0.125 times 10 to the third. That's wrong. It would be 1.25 times 10 to the second for 125. See? And here's what they mean about the less than, or the greater than or equal to 1 or less than 10. This number right here has got to be greater than or equal to 1 because of this decimal right here. If we let it be in front, then it would be less than 1, but that's not allowed. We have to have a digit in front of the decimal point. That immediately makes it equal or greater than 1. And it's got to be less than 10, because as soon as this is worth more than 10, we can change that little 2 exponent to a 3, see? So it's got to be in between or equal to 1 and 9.999 whatever, but it just can't be 10, okay? All right, so way to look at it is, here's our decimal point. The positive exponent is going to be when we're going this way, and a negative exponent is going to be if we're heading this way at the decimal point. See? The distance from Earth to the Sun is 93 million miles. We've got a decimal point right here, and we're heading this direction to put the decimal point in between the 9 and the 3 to write it as scientific notation. We go 7 hops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hops. So it becomes 9.3 times 10 to the seventh, and it's positive. We went left. It took seven hops to get in between that nine and that three. And the larger this positive exponent becomes, the more zeros there are between that number and this decimal point, see? To the left of the decimal. If it's negative, there's more digits between the decimal point and the left, I mean in the right, see? Heading this direction. So it's a positive exponent when the decimal point is heading to the left, and it's a negative exponent, like this negative 7, as we're heading to the right. So the larger the absolute value is of this exponent, the more zeros there are between the decimal place and the digit, okay? So because there's no, no other number except the 7, we just say it's 7 times 10 to the negative 7, see? Remember when we said before, when we see a negative exponent, we think fractions? So that'll help you know that you're getting into the tinier decimals, okay? So just remember to make sure that there's one digit in front of that decimal point. 6,143 6, would become 6.143 times 10 to the third power. See, the decimal point was here behind the 3, and we moved it in between the 6 and the 1. So that's 1, 2, 3 hops. So that gave us 6.143 times 10 to the third. That was three hops. And if we only have one digit, like we did up here with the seven, there's no other numbers except the seven and a bunch of zeros, 
then we just use that one digit. 6,000 would just become 6 times 10 to the third power. The decimal moves from back here, 1, 2, 3 hops to behind the 6. So the 3 hops gives us a 3 as an exponent, and we have 6 times 10 to the third. See? I'm going to write scientific notation in the next video and get a little more practice. I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget I'm on Twitter. I'm posting some of the important whiteboard notes like this up on Twitter so that you can save them to a file or you can print them if you have to and put it in your school folder. All right? Don't forget I'm on Patreon.com. You can be a, become a monthly supporter. See you next video. Bye.